Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lady J Love's channel, where God turns your frowns upside down. God bless. Good morning to you all. I'm up early. Um, I, uh, something overnight uh, happened um, that is um, very sad for our family right now. But um, anyway, if you guys will allow me to, I want to read my scripture to you this morning. Um, it's coming from John's, John chapter 7, verse 20, I mean verse 38, I'm sorry. And it says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So he's saying, if you believe in him, you will have everlasting and eternal life. In the last days, in the last day that, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on, on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. I like that. He that believeth. Whatever your worries and stresses, Jesus is the answer. He makes the hardest affliction lighter. He carries the weight with you. Jesus is life. He's life. You need water to live. You need lots of water to live. You need, you need to have a, a great percentage of water in your body to survive. But Jesus is better than water. Jesus can carry you for the rest of your life full of him. And you will never have to worry about dying. You will never have to worry about wilting. He's going to keep you steadfast, strong, and alive. You need water to live, but Jesus is better than water. He fills, he fills up and makes us full. I feel full all the time. All the time I feel full. He overfills our cup with joy and gladness. He is great, kind, and fulfilling to our soul. Oh my God, he just, he, he soothes my soul like Bengay soothes a muscle ache. He soothes my soul. Heavenly Father, you relieve my worries. You are better than water because Jesus is life. You, Jesus, quench my thirst. You fill me. You fill my heart. Give me peace and overwhelming joy for you. You are greater than all my needs, desires, worries. You are a great God, and I am glad to serve you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you come to Jesus, if you allow him to enter your life and be a part of your world, even on the day that you wake up and you feel empty for life, you feel empty for love, you feel empty for whatever you may feel empty for, as long as you have God, as long as you believe that he's there and you believe that he loves you and you believe that he has uh, a place for you, you're going to feel filled. You can have nothing. But if you have God, you're going to feel filled. 
He's going to keep you filled because he's going to keep you with what you need. He's going to keep you with the love you need to feel. He's going to keep you with anything that you need that he can provide. And that is everything. He can be yours and you can be his. I want to touch on something. I'm really saddened this morning because yesterday I received a call late evening after I had settled down, wind down, and pretty much laid in my bed down for the night. I got a call. I just lost my sister some weeks ago we buried her she was a young okay she was young older than me but young we lost her god rest her soul i miss her but i have all her wonderful memories all her wonderful memories and i know that she loves me and she knew that I love her. Well, as I said, I got a call about my brother. He's my, he will be my baby brother. He's a, a retired sergeant from the U.S. Army. He and a friend were pretty much ambushed and gunned down yesterday in Colorado Springs. My brother, he never did nothing wrong to nobody. He was always trying to keep the peace. Why? You know, he's still alive. I took to Facebook yesterday, asked him for prayers. The more prayers... The bigger the prayer chain is, the powerful, the more power that get God brings forth to take care of this situation. Rather it be in saving my brother's life, bringing him back to us. And I ask that in the name of Jesus, I'm asking that you allow my brother another go around at this life, Jesus. Allow him to come back from this and give a testimony about how good, how good you are and how you can bring anything through the mist. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying for my brother and I'm asking you all to come along and pray with me. The bigger the prayer chain is, the stronger God works will be, the more powerful he's going to come. He's going to come. He's going to make my brother whole again. Whether it's in this life or the next, I'm praying that he gives my brother another go around at this life so that he can speak to people about how good God is and how good God love is. His friend, unfortunately, didn't make it. So let's send out a special prayer for he and his family. Praying for healing of the heart. I'm so saddened. But I know that God is good. I know that God is great. I know that he can and he will. And I want you guys to know it too. He can and he will. You know. I got to hold it together. I got to hold it together because. 
I got to trust and believe. Not only that, I have to. I have to. If I can talk the talk, I have to walk the walk. As well as I can tell others to trust God's process. I have to trust my God, my Father God, and my Jesus Christ. I have to trust their process. Okay. I can't afford to let myself get upset about something that I know that God is going to handle. In whichever way he handled it, I know that he knows what he's doing. I don't, I don't argue with Jesus. I don't argue with him because he knows what he's doing. All we can do is pray. Pray that. And things go in our favor. Pray that things go in our favor. And that is that for my brother to be allowed another go around on this earth. Just because I say my brother's a good he's he was he's a good man. He's a good man. I'm not gonna use anything in past tense because he's still here. And I'm not, I'm not going to believe that he's leaving here until it's, it's done and over. There is no coming back. The flat line is flat. Other than that, as long as he's, his heart is still beating, he has a chance. You know, this is... It's, it's very ignorant that I have to sit here this morning that any of us that goes through a situation like this, someone taking another one's life, for what? Because you got caught in your shit? Forgive me. Forgive me. Those words should not be used. I'm sorry. Because you're stuck. You want to gun someone down. Well, you know what? Whoever you are. Whoever you are. You can run, but you can't hide. You can run, but you can't hide. God sees everything. He sees everything. And you will pay. You will pay. You will pay for what you did. God sees everything. You, you're going to regret. You're going to regret because when you got to deal with him, when you got to deal with him, and you know anybody that goes out and commit a crime like this, anyone that does something like this, you know you better stop and you better, before you decide to do something like this, you better stop and you better think, is this really what I want? Is this really, think about the the consequences that you're going to have to deal with after the fact of being, making an ignorant decision like this. Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? Because not only are you going to take out your, take out someone else's life, you're taking out your own. You got to constantly look over your shoulder. Wondering if, do anybody know? Is anybody going to tell them? You know what? You're suffering within your head once you commit a crime like this. And there's no going back. Don't be an idiot. Don't be an idiot. Listen. I don't, time and time again, I, I try to think, I try to figure out what, what is going through these people's mind when they, when they do this, in that moment of time when you have that time to make a decision, 
Is it really worth taking someone's life and then taking your own because you're not going to get away with it? You're not. You're not going to get away with it. Unless you're just a heartless person that don't just care. Don't care. If you just don't have no care. And you don't care that God is going to fix you and fix you good when it's time for you to go home. You can only hear about how torture is in the living world. How, how you've heard about how people have been 